Hello there you guys, welcome to enough of my videos. According to Sky Sports, Rafael Varane's visa has been processed. He's in Manchester ahead of finalising a move to Manchester United from Real Madrid. Rafael Varane landed in Manchester yesterday night. Fabrizio Romano confirmed that. Rafael Varane is set for his medical with Man United. He's self-isolating at the moment. Man United are aiming to complete the signing of Rafael Varane by Wednesday. Tuesday of last week, Man United confirmed that they'd reached an agreement with Real Madrid to sign Rafael Varane. Both clubs agreed an initial fee of £34 million rises up to £43 million with add-ons. Varane will sign a four-year contract with Man United. There's an option of a further year. Man United... A doubling Rafael Varane's wages, he will receive around £250,000 a week at Man United. Be interesting to see what shirt number he gets. Um, I think Man United need to give Varane that number four shirt. Friday last week, Varane posted a farewell message to Real Madrid. Is our third signing of this summer transfer window. I can assure Rafael Varane will exceed expectations in the Premier League. And at Man United, I'm convinced he'll replicate what he did in his years with Real Madrid. What a fantastic centre back partnership that is, Varane and Harry Maguire, because they'll complement each other very well. Varane is regarded as one of the best centre-halves in the world. He's highly experienced. Got a good pedigree as a player. He's won a lot of trophies. You know, we went in for Varane back in 2011 under the Sir Alex Ferguson era. We also went in for him back in 2018 because Woodward was prepared to sanction a £100 million move. Varane was a long-serving player at Real Madrid. He endured a decade with them. He made 360 appearances in all competitions. His current contract at Real Madrid was due to expire next year. Real Madrid did offer Varane a renewal contract offer, but he rejected it. Now, according to the Manchester Evening News, Man United will make a third significant signing this summer. Who will it be? Um, I think we've got a very good chance of signing Kieran Trippier from Atletico Madrid. Kieran Trippier expects any Man United moved to materialise towards the end of the window. He arranged for his family to relocate back to Manchester. Man United already have a Kieran Trippier transfer agreement. But yeah, it said recently that Man United will get a deal done for Kieran Trippier. He recently returned to training with Atletico Madrid. Sky Sports said that Atletico Madrid want around £34 million for Trippier. We've already had two offers rejected for him. Fabrizio Romano said not so long ago 
that the Kieran Trippier situation is still quiet and Man United are looking to sort out Diego Delors' future. But yeah, we have had two offers rejected for him already. Um, quite a few weeks ago, it said that Atletico Madrid won't sell Kieran Trippier to Man United. But just before that, Neil Custis from the Sun came out and said that Man United w were close to signing Kevin Trippier for £18 million. Pound. It'd be good if we could get him in because Trippier's a right back. He would provide competition for Anwan Bissaka. Plus he's highly experienced and he's proven in the Premier League. Atletico Madrid paid £20 million pounds in from Tottenham back in 2019. His current contract at Atletico Madrid expires next year. He won his first La Liga title with Atletico last season. So, only guess, uh, Manchester United have also got a chance of signing him. Man United have made contact with Sol Niguez's agent. He said the agents of Sol Niguez were due in England this week to hold talks with Man United and Liverpool because Man United and Liverpool are battling it out for Niguez. Probably get Niguez for around £34 million. Pound. Reports from Spain did say that Niguez favours a move to Barcelona. Barcelona were in talks with Atletico Madrid over a swap deal involving Griezmann and Niguez. We've identified Niguez as a potential replacement for Pogba. I think he'd be a good adequate replacement for Pogba. Niguez has a gentleman's agreement in place with Atletico Madrid. Uh, Niguez has a 128 million release clause. He's got a contract with Atletico Madrid until 2026. Back in 2017, he signed a nine-year contract. Um, he's been at Atletico Madrid around 13 years or so now risen up their academy. It can be deployed as a central midfielder or a defensive midfielder. Solskjaer's priority is to now get a midfielder in. Uh, like I updated you this morning, the Manchester Evening News said that Solskjaer speaks out on Man United transfer plans before deadline. Solskjaer says any more signings would be a bonus for Manchester United as we approach the final three weeks of the summer transfer window. But the other week, Solskjaer did confirm more signings are coming. So, reflecting on that, Man United are not yet finished in this summer transfer window. I reckon we're going to make at least one more signing. Solskjaer is pleased with our transfer business this summer. Man United have enjoyed a very good summer transfer window because Solskjaer is getting the players he wants to recommend in and he's getting the backing he deserves. Our owners, the Glazers, are backing him. I think the only reason they're backing Solskjaer, though, is because they've been persuaded to, because towards the end of last season, don't forget, the Glazers were planning to scrap the Champions League for that European Super League and... A lot of United fans protested against the Glazers at Old Trafford towards the end of last season. 
Solskjaer did reveal, though, that the Glazers apologised. It said the Glazers could have been forced to sell Man United, but for only £4 billion. Pound. The Glazers have put Man United in so much debt. They've been at the club now for 16 years. They purchased the club for £500 million back in 2005. Joe Glazer attended a fans forum on the 4th of June, which was a couple of months ago now. And he promised Man United supporters that Solskjaer would get the funds that are available. Uh, Woodward, he's obviously stood by Solskjaer. He said several times before that, you know, he'll back Solskjaer. And when was enjoying them really bad periods under Oli, Woodward assured that Solskjaer's job was safe. We know Woodward's leaving Man United, he's had a 16-year association with the club. Man United now must sell to buy. I am expecting quite a few departures in this summer transfer window. Uh, there's a very, very good chance that Man United are going to loan Brandon Williams out to gain him more experience and to get him a lot more opportunities. You know, Williams seldom plays for us. He's our third choice left back. Phil Jones, um, we could offload him. Newcastle have been linked with him recently. Jones hasn't played for us since January. Jones is the only outfield player that's still with us from the Sir Alex Ferguson era. Jones has been a long-serving player at Man United. He's enjoyed 10 years at the club. As you all know, Axel Tuanzebe is going out on loan to Aston Villa. Fabrizio Romano said the other day that Villa are very close to get into Anzebe on loan. Uh, want to extend his contract though before he goes out on loan. Sky Sports did say that Axel to Anzebe is set to sign a new one year contract extension with Man United. There's an option of another year. So this will be his third loan spell with Villa because he's enjoyed two loan spells with them already. But it's the right decision to put him out on loan because he'll gain more experience and he'll get more opportunities. Diego De Law, Man United need to get rid of him. Uh, we could loan him out for another season. Um, he was out on loan with AC Milan last season. Uh, Andres Pereira, Man United need to also get rid of him. He was out on loan with Lazio last season. Uh, Matic is another player we need to offload, but I don't think we're going to in this window. Because I've always had my strong reservations about Matic. He's always been a static player and he's ageing up. Matic has been with us over four years now, is it? Got him for 40 million from Chelsea back in 2017. Uh, Donny van der Beek, I think Man United have also got to offload him. Nothing to do with him being a bad player, it's just that he hasn't been given enough starts at Man United. So I haven't really had much of a perception on him, but in general he's a decent player. Van der Beek's only enjoyed one full season at the club. Martial, I want him to go, but I don't think he's going to. So I think he's going to remain at Man United for the new season. Lingard, we've got to offload him, so there you go. And you know the news on Paul Pogba. Solskjaer reveals that he's had positive discussions with Paul Pogba over his future. Paul Popper is in no hurry to sort out his future. Paul Popper will start the season with Man United. Then he'll make a decision about his future before the 31st of August.
Fabrizio Romano did say the other day that they are big chances that Pogba stays at Man United this summer. And he said Man United are confident in extending Pogba's contract. Pogba's current contract expires next year. Sky Sports did say not so long ago that Pogba can see a long-term future at Man United but may wait on the contract extension. Now, the other week it said Pogba rejected a new contract at Man United. Sky Sports says Pogba is increasingly unlikely to sign a new Man United contract. But Solskjaer came out and said that Man United still remain in talks with Pogba's representatives over a new contract. Man United must pay fifteen million in wages to Pogba to sell off. Uh, PSG have been relentlessly linked with him. Says PSG are the favourites to sign Pogba this summer. PSG have held talks with Pogba's representatives. PSG are willing to offer around forty five million for Pogba. PSG wants to partner Pogba alongside one yard him in their midfield. Uh, Potocino recently played down PSG's interest in Pogba because uh, Potocino got quizzed on Paul Pogba's transfer from Man United again. Um, last week, Mino Riola, or was it early on this week, offered Liverpool the chance to sign Pogba, but I'm very sceptical he'd go to Liverpool. Pob has also been linked to Real Madrid. He's been linked to his former club Juventus. Barcelona have been in for him and Inter Milan have been in for him before. So he has had a long-running transfer saga. Reports from France recently claim that Man United are demanding an increased transfer fee for Pogba should he leave this summer. We want at least £63 million. Pounds. But like I said, if we are to let Pogba go, we've got to get a good adequate replacement for him. Pogba brings creativity to the team. He produced his best performances for Man United in the last couple of months of last season, but at one point last season, Pogba was out with a thigh injury for a while. He's endured five seasons at Man United since he rejoined. He's our most expensive sign at the moment because we paid £89 million pounds for him and he's won three trophies at the club so far. The new season is going to be massive for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and I think he is aware of that because Solskjaer has got big expectations to exceed for the new season. Solskjaer uh, recently talked tough Man United title hopes. He knows the pressure is on. Solskjaer did make an admission saying that Man City are the favourites but the title race is open. Solskjaer's ambition for the new season is to win the title. Obviously the United fans that are very sceptical we're going to win a title under Ole. We haven't won the Premier League since 2013 which is eight years ago now. But Solskjaer must win a trophy next season because he's not yet won a trophy as Man United manager and we haven't won a trophy since 2017 and that's nowhere near good enough to our standards 
Solskjaer is approaching his third full season as Manchester United manager because he's enjoyed two full seasons at the moment. Solskjaer has been in charge of the club for almost three years. The other week, Solskjaer signed a new contract with Man United until 2024 there's an option of a further year so basically he signed a three year deal a lot of United fans disagreed with us giving him this new contract because he won't see out this new contract I think Solskjaer does deserve at least another season but he's not the long term manager for Man United and I think a lot of United fans would agree with me on that aspect you know, there's United fans that are only in. There's also United fans that are only out. I've criticised him a hell of a lot during his managerial tenure at Man United. But obviously I've had my reasons behind it. But despite that, I think Ole is our best manager since Ferguson. I really, really do. We appointed Solskjaer in, in December 2018 to replace Mourinho. He's been permanent Manchester United manager since March 2019. The reason we give Solskjaer the job permanently back in March 2019 was reflecting how well he did in that three-month period when he was the interim manager. He won, what, 14 games out of 19 in all competitions. But... I've got to give Oli credit, um, I didn't expect him to do as well as he has done, so in that aspect I am shocked. You've got to say he's done a good job to say the current squad he was left with when he got appointed in as Man United manager because he was inheriting a lot of Deadwood. Uh, Solskjaer has signed 13 players so far as Man United manager. I think in total he has spent just over 400 million in the transfer windows he has enjoyed. He's spent almost 120 million in this summer transfer window, and we've made three signings so far in this window. You know, Ollie's got rid of a lot of the deadwood since he's come in, which he knew he had to do. Um, I like the way he develops the youth. Solskjaer has more or less given everybody their chances to express themselves, including the young players. Ollie's got us to like semi-finals, got us to the Europa League final last season. It was his first major final as Man United manager. Got us to the FA Cup quarter final last season. He got us a third place finish in his first full season. Got us a second place finish last season, and last season went the entire season without losing away from home in the Premier League. So he's done well in quite a lot of aspects, but Ollie's not proven himself properly yet because he hasn't won a trophy at Manchester United he hasn't got a good pedigree as a manager you know before he was with us he was at Mulder he won a few Norwegian titles at Mulder but they're not a big club he enjoyed two spells with them and before Mulder he was at Cardiff and his record at Cardiff was absolutely terrible but we adore Solskjaer and we will always adore him regardless of what happens to him because at the end of the day he's a club legend he enjoyed 11 years as a player for Man United he flourished under Sir Alex Ferguson's guidance he is our fourth permanent manager since Ferguson isn't he uh, because since Ferguson we sacked David Moyes after 10 months Moyes is the worst manager we've probably ever had. Uh, we finished seventh under the David Moyes era. That's the lowest we've finished in the Premier League era. We sat Van Gaal after two years, despite winning the FA Cup, and we sat Mourinho after two and a half years. And he won the Europa League, the League Cup, and the Community Shield at Man United in his first season, and got us a second place finish. So you can say Mourinho did enjoy one good season at Man United. I already give you the reasons why it didn't work out under Mourinho. We've spent of what over one billion pounds now in the last eight years or so. We must have brought a good 41, 42 players in since Ferguson. You know, like I said, we've overpaid and that for players in recent years. Our recruitment policy was gashed for such a long time. 
obviously in that aspect the blame stemmed from the board. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you today. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon.